So today's lesson, lesson 8, is about glossary and math abbreviations. So have you, well, we did touch on glossary in your reading. So I should think you remember what glossary is. Okay, so some books have a glossary in the back. A glossary is a special dictionary just for that book. It gives the meanings of words and shows how to pronounce them. If you are reading a book and you find a word you do not know, look in the glossary to find out what it means. Well, some glossaries have guide words at the top of each page. Guide words are the first and last words on, the, on that page. They help you find the entry words. Entry words are the words you can look up. The entry words are listed in alphabetical order. So let's look at the example they give up, they provide here. Right? So here is a glossary. And we're going to look for the guide words. The guide words they, is said to be at the top of the page. Right? So at the top of the glossary page is the or the guide words there. Two guide words, right? And these guide words help you find the entry words. Entry words are the words you can find on that one page, right? This is the entry word that we see at the top of the page. And this will be the last entry word on the page, okay? So we have a glossary in this language book and it's on page 64 so I want you to go over to page 64 All right so here we have the glossary where can you find your guide words again you said the top of a page that's correct the guide words are at the top of the page Abbreviation and verb. Abbreviation is the first guide word, and that means that the page starts with abbreviation. The entry word, the list of entry words, starts with abbreviation. And the last word on the page is verb. The last entry word is verb. And here we can see it's verb. Alright, so the glossary gives you the word. Gives you the pronunciation of that word, how it sounds, how you should pronounce it, and the meaning of that word. So abbreviation, abbreviation is a short way to write a long word. Right? So for example, kilogram equals kg. Kilogram can be written as kg. Right? So if you turn to your reader you'll see that you have a glossary here let's turn to your reader and you have an extensive glossary here it's on found on page 365 here you have your guide words Accomplish and amend. Accomplish is the first entry word on the page, and amend is the last entry word on that page. Accomplish, amend. Let's look at another example. Now you can go around in your house and look for books that have glossaries. So the glossary begins here, right? Let's look at this. What are the guide words on this page? Good. It's accordion and approach. The first entry word is accordion. Look at see how all the words on this all the entry words on this page begin with an A. So Accordion, approach. Approach is the last entry word. Approach. 
So let's go to page 20, I mean 30, sorry. And use the glossary example on page 29 to answer the questions. All right? What is something you could fling? Fling. What is something you could fling? So you're going to go back to page 29. And you're going to look to see what fling means. Look in your glossary here. Which word there is fling? You're going to look, find it. And you're going to read what it means. And then you're going to think of something that you can fling and put it in here. You think of something that you can fling. You can probably fling it outside or what, whatever you want to put there. That you can fling, you put it there. Okay. So what is a common noun? Underline the answer. Do you remember what are common nouns? Is it a noun that is used often? Or a noun that names any person, place or thing? So you underline the correct one. Write a word to complete each sentence. A blank is a special dictionary for a book. What is a special dictionary for a book? We just did it at the beginning of this lesson. What were we talking about? Okay, so you can go back to page 29 if you don't remember what we were talking about. Read your text box, okay? So you're going to read carefully. It can be found in the blank of the book. Where can you find that special dictionary? Where can it be found in the book? Can it be found in the front, in the middle, in the back? The answer here. The answer is actually in the text box. So you need to read over your text box carefully. Blank words are words to be looked up. Blank words are words to be looked up. What words are words to be looked up? Blank words guide you to the entry words. What words guide you to the entry words? Okay. So math abbreviations. Most abbreviations for measurements do not need a capital letter or a period. Two measurement words do not follow this rule. Liter can be written as a capital L. And milliliter can be written as a common L and a capital L together. Alright? So inch. Inch can be written as I-N. Common I-N. Foot can be written as FT, common FT, and so on. You, you are familiar with these abbreviations already, but I want you to go through them, look at each one, and familiarize yourself with them once more. And then you're going to go over to page 31, and you're going to match the words with the abbreviations. Okay? Match them carefully. Look at them properly. Okay. Here you're going to underline the singular nouns. Singular and plural. Remember what are singular and plural nouns? Singular means one. And plural means more than one. So here you're going to underline the singular nouns. You're going to underline. Then you're going to circle the plural nouns. Okay, so all the singular nouns are going to underline, all the plural nouns are going to circle. And we remember, it's like a little checkup to see how much you remember from the lessons before. Okay, and we're going to go to your penmanship, go to page 63 and do your N's and M's. Spelling. So remember you cut out your spelling, your section 2 spelling list yesterday. So today you're going to take that spelling list again. You're going to need it. And you're going to write the singular form of these compound words. Actually, you can set it aside for now while you do these three questions. Well, actually this section here. So airplanes. Airplanes. 
How do you change airplanes to being singular? What do you sub- what do you take away from the word airplane to make airplanes to make it singular? What do you take out from airports to make it singular? What do you take out from wildcats to make it singular? You take it out and you write, rewrite the word in this singular form. Okay? And here you're going to do the opposite. You're going to change these words into plural form. Okay? So chill will become... What do you add to chill to make it plural? What do you add to drills to make it plural? And what do you add to branch to make it plural? Do you, And you should remember your rules when making words plural. Alright? If you don't remember, please go back and read your text box from yesterday's lesson. Lesson 7. So write the spelling words from the second part of the dictionary. So the first part of the dictionary goes from A to F. All words that begin with A, B, C, D, E, F, they are found in the first part of the dictionary. The second part of the dictionary, the, wor- the words begin with G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. All words that begin with these letters are found in the second part of the dictionary. And all words that begin with Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, they are found in the third part of the dictionary. So you're going to find, write the spelling words from the second part of the dictionary. Words that begin with letters that are found from the second part of the dictionary. You're going to write them down here. You have three, okay? Then you're going to find and circle the misspelled word. Write it correctly on the line. So here you're going to look carefully, read carefully, and you're going to look for the word that is spelled incorrectly, the one that is spelled wrong. And you're going to write it correctly in the blank space. Okay? So read carefully each one. And here you have write section two spelling words in on another on other paper you're gonna write it in your notebook I hope you have been keeping up with that write your section two spelling words in your notebook okay and that's the end of your lesson eight